We've got some breaking news in the hugely profitable video gaming world. Sony stock is falling right now one and a third percent after the parent of the PlayStation pretty much refusing at this hour to acknowledge it's got major cross-play problems with the hottest game on the planet right now, Fortnite. Over the last couple of months, Sony have been under fire for their controversial policy on cross-platform play. Industry icons like Todd Howard have publicly called Sony unhelpful over Fallout 76 cross-play conversations, and a significant backlash was generated over Sony's disinterest in enabling cross-play for Fortnite. This is far from the first time the games industry and consumers have argued about cross-play, but with publishers and developers pointing the finger at Sony and the technical hurdles all but solved if in Indeed, there ever were any, the heat is now on for Sony to make a call on whether to enable crossplay or potentially risk a PR nightmare of alienating their players. Or is it? It's absolutely true that Sony are on the back foot as far as their image goes right now on this issue. Facing the frustrations of PlayStation owners who are annoyed at being locked out of their existing Fortnite accounts when trying to play on Nintendo Switch just because Sony won't play nice with others. Microsoft and Nintendo have been quick to say they're happy to jump on the cross-play bandwagon and it's all up to Sony to give the green light. So given the continuous uproar, you'd be forgiven for assuming it's just a matter of time until Sony cave. But there's a few very good reasons why they most likely won't. Some are more obvious than others, so let's start with the one you're probably already guessing. Money. Earlier this month, Sony Interactive President and CEO Sean Layden told Eurogamer, We're hearing the concerns about our cross-play policy. We're looking at a lot of possibilities. You can imagine that the circumstances around that affect a lot more than just one game. I'm confident we'll get to a solution which will be understood and accepted by our gaming community, while at the same time supporting our business. If you feel like those were a lot of words that don't really say anything, you're at about the same place I am. But vague lip service plays into Sony's best interest right now, because no publisher wants to say, no, we're not implementing crossplay. Fortunately, we have insiders like former Sony developer John Smedley, who tweeted last month, When I was at Sony, the stated reason internally for the cross-play policy was money. They didn't like someone buying something on an Xbox and it being used on a PlayStation. Simple as that. Dumb reason, but there it is. Well, it's actually not a dumb reason. It's an aggravating and consumer unfriendly reason, but it is a smart business reason for Sony. Sony currently hold the majority market share of the current console generation. By the last official count in April of this year, 79 million PS4s have been sold since launch in November of 2013. Microsoft doesn't reveal their sales numbers anymore, but estimates have placed Xbox One sales to date at somewhere between 30 and 50 million units. According to data tracking figures from the NPD group, the PS4 routinely outsells the Xbox One in North America. It may sound trivial, but PlayStation greatly benefits from having the majority market share without enabling crossplay, as it's more likely those looking to play online together will pick up the same console as their friends. Based on those previous figures, the odds are 2 to 1 that your friends have PS4s and not Xbox Ones, so you're more likely to pick up a PS4 if playing online together is a big factor in your console purchase decision. This works out great for Sony, and conceding their strong financial position by making the player-friendly choice in enabling cross-platform play just isn't sensible for them. We got in touch with Microsoft to get the official word on their cross-play stance, and they told us, At Microsoft, our vision is to deliver the games you want to play across the devices you want to play on, connecting you to the people you want to play with to ensure we're always providing more value and choice. Whether that means working with our partners to deliver cross-network play with games like Rocket League and Fortnite, or enabling cross-device play with the likes of Minecraft, we are supportive of new scenarios that enable more people to play and have fun together while gaming. Nintendo's official line delivered in their 78th shareholders meeting is pretty similar. Nintendo Senior Executive Officer Susumu Tanaka stated, Crossplay basically comes about from conversations between publishers and platform holders. We are inclined to do what we can to help publishers incorporate crossplay when that is what they want. The other parties involved also have a say in whether we are able to reach this outcome or not, so we will continue to discuss it with them. Crossplay is also useful in sustaining the longevity of games with smaller player bases, as you'd expect games with massive player bases benefit too. Most stories that cover crossplay conversations typically paint Microsoft as the inclusive hero, with success stories like Minecraft, which is playable on all platforms, except for Sony's, while Sony is typically depicted as the kid in the corner who won't share any of their toys. 
While I'm not arguing this is an accurate depiction, I do think there's a larger story to be told here. And to get into that, we need to take a look at Last Generation. Cast your mind back to 2006, when PS3 sales significantly lagged behind those of the Xbox 360 at launch. It took a console redesign, price cuts, and some massive exclusive games to make up that gap. This was during the same generation that the Wii surged ahead, selling over 100 million consoles worldwide. Crossplay wasn't as big of a draw at that time. The Wii had minimal online infrastructure, and Nintendo's consoles had generally been considered closed platforms. Even though the PS3 and Xbox Xbox 360 marked the beginning of internet-ready consoles, different console infrastructures still dominated conversations about crossplay. Though Sony had already introduced online play between the PS2 and PC for Final Fantasy XI, and Microsoft developed games for Windows Live in part to facilitate cross-platform play for the PC, the sales divide between the PS3 and the Xbox 360 was slim enough that you could assume there was no compelling internal push from either company to want to share player bases. 2018, on the other hand, is a very different story, and Nintendo and Microsoft both want a piece of Sony's player base High. Last year, Nintendo said they would support cross-platform play between PC and Xbox One versions of both Rocket League and Minecraft on Switch, and that's exactly what they did, although Sony has remained a holdout. Microsoft are all too happy to publicly call out Sony for not playing ball, with Xbox boss Phil Spencer making statements like the following to Business Insider. I just get stuck in who this is helping. It doesn't help the developer. The developer just wants more people to play their game. It doesn't help the player. The players just want to play with their friends who also play games on console. That said, it may not be the PR drama for Sony that it appears to be. We spoke to Wedbush Securities analyst Michael Pachter, who said, Nobody has ever purchased a console with the expectation that they could play multiplayer games with friends who own a different brand of console. So it's more remarkable that Microsoft announced it will allow cross-platform play, and completely unsurprising that Sony is not playing along. In Sony's view, they're ahead and want to stay there. They believe they're on the right path, and anything that helps Microsoft sell consoles potentially hurts Sony. Sony has been forced to batten down the PR hatches while angry anger over Fortnite accounts rises to the top of news and social media sites, when developers of Rocket League or Fallout 76 come out and say there's no problem on Microsoft's end, and again when Epic accidentally enables cross-console play between Xbox One and PS4 for Fortnite, proving not only can it be done, but it's evidently super simple. Microsoft and Nintendo have seized the opportunity to gang up on Sony, but I'm gonna bet neither of them would be too keen on playing nice if they had the majority of the console market either. Sony appears to be banking on the assumption that it's just a vocal minority who is upset about their crossplay stance, and that the negative headlines will be swept under the rug by tomorrow's news. With time, we'll see whether that's the case or not. But regardless, there's a real danger in how long Sony can spend allowing this anti-consumer image to fester. This sentiment is shared by Pacta, who told us, Sony's gamble here is that nobody really expects them to allow it now, and that this angst will fade away. In the event that they conclude that their refusal to allow cross-platform play is costing them overall sales, they will relent. This is similar to when Microsoft miscalculated in 2013 with onerous DRM plans and consumers voted vociferously and with their wallets. If Sony hears a loud pushback or sees sales suffer, they'll change their position. That said, he ultimately predicted that the cross-console play uproar will blow over, and that Sony won't change their stance. They may have won this generation, but with cross-play and backwards compatibility becoming bigger parts of the conversation regarding what players want, Sony could put themselves in a poor situation if they ignore these issues, heading towards the next generation of consoles. In a perfect world, publishers would be selling consoles because of the strength of their hardware, their software libraries, and their online systems, and crossplay would be seen as something that's universally good for everybody. Sony is now stuck between their apparent unwillingness to concede their market share and the danger in establishing an anti-consumer reputation. Microsoft have proven they can turn things around given their pivot this generation after a few stumbles, and right now they're in a great position to alienate their main competitor from players. Sony has some wiggle room to take advantage of their comfortable position on top, and the fact that their crossplay policy is more of an annoyance than it is a boycott risk at the moment. But if they don't prove they're willing to play nice at some point during the tail end of this generation, they risk watching disgruntled PS4 players think twice when the PS5 arrives. 
Personally, I think it's far more likely we'll see a late generation pivot from Sony as opposed to any real change at this point. But let me know what you think. How important is crossplay to you and how will what's happening right now affect what console you pick up next generation?